habitual. And his whole family that let him get drug out the house, some bitches. I'm going to let y'all know that personally. Y'all are some cowards. You feel me? I'm going to tell y'all just like that. Because like I don't respect none of you. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That old house Negro energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all let the motherfucking people come in there and just grab Emmett Till like that. House full of y'all. Y'all ain't do shit. Y'all let them walk in. Go listen to the story. Like, y'all let them walk in the crib and pick who they was going to torture that night. And they picked him. They shouldn't have nothing to do with him whistling in a white woman. He never even did it. Even though they telling you he didn't do it, I'm telling you the shit never even happened. They literally just went to them black folks' house in the middle of the night and picked the house and picked the nigga. You feel me? Because they was trying to make a blood sacrifice ritual along the 33rd parallel. You think I'm lying? It's all got it in the, and that's all the Mississippi River runs along the 33rd parallel line. This is the way we set it up. This is why I'm trying to tell you some powerful souls that come from off that off the other side of that Mississippi River. I mean, it's powerful souls everywhere. But what I'm saying is you better know it's some super, super powerful souls that be coming off that motherfucking Mississippi River, man. You get what I'm saying? It's way deeper than they ever talked to and told you. Let me show you something. Emmett Till, right? Mississippi River is the. Show y'all something if I could pull it up. Mississippi is on the 33rd, runs along the 33rd parallel. Let me see what was it? Okay, Emmett Till was killed in Money, Mississippi. Okay, Money, Mississippi. Hold on, I just pulled that up. Money, Mississippi. Right, I know I wasn't tripping. Money, Mississippi. That's what Emmett Till was sacrificed. That this all got something to do with the, with the power of the Mississippians. I'm trying to tell you. Now check this out. Money, Mississippi. Let's see, what is the longitude and latitude of Money, Mississippi, since I don't know what I'm talking about? What is the, the, uh, what is the, um, the longitude of Money, Mississippi? Oh! What is the longitude of Money, Mississippi? Let's flip it around, y'all. 33 degrees. Those are the coordinates of Money, Mississippi. 33rd parallel, 90 degrees west. Once again, I repeat, where Emmett Till was sacrificed. You see what I'm saying? Since I don't know what I'm talking about. You know, I just want to show it real quick. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, I'm glad they let me prove my point because they don't really show shit like this. But Emmett Till was sacrificed, like I told y'all, on the 33rd parallel. Right? Because and, and he was sacrificed in Money, Mississippi. And look at the coordinates of Money, Mississippi. 33 degrees. That's the 33rd parallel, the most powerful energetic point on the on the planet. 90 degrees west off that. Alright. So Emmett Till was a blood sacrifice, like I was saying. You feel me before I was really interrupted by Google to prove to prove my point to the people in the back of class that just know I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway. Emmett Till was sacrificed in Money, Mississippi, like I was telling y'all, on the 33rd parallel. It was a blood sacrifice. They ain't never admitted that. They always say he was killed over some racism. No, he was not. It was a blood sacrifice. Now, why would they sacrifice him? Because they were trying to channel energy off the Mississippi River, which is also runs along the 33rd, par 33rd parallel. So you got to understand all this has to do with the Mississippians and the energy we place right there. You get what I'm saying? The energy we place right there. And they are aware of that. Even the Trail of Tears, what they do, they had to, they marched them all the way across the Mississippi River. They didn't have to make them go that far. You ever wonder, like, why they make the Cherokee walk so far? See what I'm saying? The ones that folded, because the ones that didn't fold became Seminoles. That, and they kept going and warring with their bitch ass. But, you know... You always got the ones amongst us want to fold under pressure. So the ones that folded under pressure, they ass took that walk. You see what I'm saying? And the ones that didn't fold, they stayed and became Florida Seminoles. And they got, they were Seminoles in Georgia to where it was. They got pushed down only in the Florida. That's another story though. But what I'm saying is, why do you think they made the Cherokee 
march across the Mississippi to New Indian Territory, which they labeled as Oklahoma. And all the Cherokee that marched across the Mississippi, they did go into Tulsa, Oklahoma. A lot of them died. So many of them transcended that by the time, there wasn't that many left by the time they got to actual Tulsa, Oklahoma, to be honest with you. But it was still a, a lot, of, lot of us left. And when we got to Tulsa, Oklahoma, to Tulsa, Oklahoma, this is where you get your story of Black Wall Street a couple, couple generations later. You know, that greatness is going to stay with us. You get what I'm saying? That greatness is going to stay with us. You get what I'm saying? So it don't matter what they do. You feel me? They could kill us. They can't kill the greatness. That shit just stay with us. You feel me? They could help us deport, but they can't stop the greatness. That shit stay with us. You feel me? So you got to understand that was all ritualistic shit while it was done. Now, when you understand that about the Mississippi, and then you can understand like why it's a lot of warrior energy in the Midwest. That was what Illinois Confederacy was at. So this is why any any soul that comes into them states, they going to take on that energy. So when the soul get there, they going to be in that energy. This is why they be like that. But see, they don't understand that that it's warrior energy, but it's being manipulated for them to war and kill each other. They don't know that. But this is why they war so crazy in the streets like that, because it's warrior energy. You got to understand it's a warrior energy right there already. It's the energy. It's the energy. It's the energy. But if that energy is misplaced, then motherfuckers going to war with each other because of the spells. You get what I'm saying? But it's all based off Mississippians. Of Mississippians. You get what I'm saying? You got to understand this, this shit get deep. And then, like, remember, we, we was Mississippians everywhere. So that's why I say it's not just Chicago and, New, and in the Midwest and all. No. It's even L.A. and everywhere. That energy everywhere because we had these tribes. And each side of the Mississippians had warriors. And in the capital was, 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 was Cahokia. What Cahokia, Illinois is today. You feel me? But it was that warrior energy everywhere. You see what I'm saying? Naturally. Why? Because we got all these ley lines. Remember, we activated them. They froze the planet in time, but we still activated certain energy points. So the energy activated and we didn't get the we didn't get to use it because we started losing more of the war. So we became many smaller tribes and they started building over these energy points. You get what I'm leading to? This is where your railroad tracks come from. All your railroad tracks is strategically placed along ley lines. All your churches, all your temples of religious worship are strategically placed over energy points. Energy hubs, we got them everywhere. Every single one. You got to know that all the energy they start building over our shit. Oh, that's the energetic point. They build over it. The whole downtown Chicago, heavy energy. They built over it. St. Louis downtown, built over it. Detroit downtown, built over it. You see what I'm saying? Cincinnati downtown, built over it. Indianapolis downtown, built over it. Kansas City, built over it. Play Iowa, built over it. Built. Then they just spread. New York, LA, Miami, all your towns. Be anywhere where it's a downtown at, this energy there. That's, that's why they make sure they take that. You're going to know where all the energy is going to be downtown. That's why when you go to any downtown, it feels so more liver than other parts of your city or your town. Downtown going to always be a little bit more something about it, like downtown. But you and I understand they building over that. And then the reason why you, why it was easy to, to pull us into the churches is because they know about these Mississippi energy points we set up when we was Mississippian. So what they do is they built over those. They built over those. And you be all drawn to the church, not knowing it's the energy that's pulling you. It's all energy. See what I'm saying? It's all energy. So the sacrifice of, of, of Emmett Till, that was along the 33rd parallel. A lot of people don't know that, though. They don't even know that. They've been sacrificing us and doing this. When they hung us on trees, they didn't never just hang all of us. They was hanging everybody. No. They were strategic hangings. And if they could map out the hangings, you're going to see that all of them happened along the 33rd parallel. There was always blood sacrifices. Because you're like, you can give a blood sacrifice to channel the Orishas more, right? 
like a like a blood sacrifice and shit like that, when you go into higher levels of magic and stuff like that, you will see them do what? You'll see them use like chickens and stuff like that and goats like in glove crab country, right? It's all real. So you can give positive blood sacrifices too, right? But then you got the negative blood sacrifices where you channel negative fallen entities. It's reverse magic. Remember, 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 I told you, you got light magic and you got dark magic. See what I'm saying? So, this is what they do. All them hangings, they ain't going to tell you why they hung. Why they picked the tree. Why did they pick the tree? See what I'm saying? Why they, why they hang you? Why they ain't just kill you? Why you must have been hung? All that was ritual. Think about if you go to Africa and you see somebody, that know, they do voodoo. You're going to see dolls hanging. See what I'm saying? You're going to see dolls hanging. They did the same shit with us. They don't reverse. They pulling energy. They channeling energy. Feel me? It's all, it's all a form of magic. So they have us hanging from the tree. And us being divine beings connected to the tree, what do you think that did to the tree? Hanging us on the trees. What do you think that showed the, the energies they was trying to work with that? Remember, it's a spiritual warfare. So you got your, the good, the good, the good high vibrational energy frequency. And then you got the fallen angels. That's the basis of it all. You can channel their energy to help you too. Remember, they what they are still gods. The fallen angels still gods. Just like you. You can't look at them like some fake shit. They look just like you. They just the ones that chose to go a different route. That's it. Just like you can channel, we can channel the Orishas and we can channel Archangels and we can channel, we can call in our help. You could, you could, you could make negative channels and call, and that's what they do in the music industry. They'll make a blood sacrifice. The whole purpose of the blood sacrifice is the life force is in there. They want to prove to the spirit that they mean it. The spirit into the, the spirits listen more when you, when you're willing to suffer, when you're willing to bleed, when you're willing to give blood, when you're willing to give, donate life force. It's a spiritual thing, so they listen more. Just like when you cry. If you cry, they listen to me even more because it's you releasing energy. This is powerful. This is when you get on that deep level of, of magic. This is what they do. You got to understand why they do the blood sacrifices. See, people be like, that's a sacrifice thing, but you're not understanding what